and welcome to your capoeira lesson and this is gonna be a country edition shot from the beautiful georgia mountains and uh man i used to think that it was tough to do capoeira on bare feet until i tried it with boots i felt like i was carrying bricks on my feet and this lesson we're gonna keep on going with our bimba series and cover sequence three as well as we are gonna be working on strength drills and agility drills and we're gonna finish it off with a set of sequences that i really enjoy so let's go ahead and get into the bimba sequence number three this is part a and the focus on this one is the martello so let me show it to you at normal speed it's gonna be martello martello cocorinha benson and then a at the end, we're actually going to be adding an aujole, as I was showing you on some drills on the previous lesson. So let me show it to you a little bit slower. You're going to be doing martello. You're going to land back into bass, step over, do back to bass, martello again, back to bass, do a cocorinha. Then you will do the benson with the outside leg and do an au to that same side. You'll land facing the opposite way. And I'll show you in a second what I mean by doing that aujole. And again, just very slowly, look at the details from the back. You bring the martello forward and then you land back into the base. You'll do a second martello, same way, you'll land with a cocorina, do a benson with the outside leg, do an au, and this time we're going to add the whole leg part into it. If you have questions about it, just be sure to check out the previous lesson because I go into more details of how to learn that. And again, we're going to show it to you. You'll see it's Martello, Martello, Cocorinha. One detail about that Cocorinha is notice which arm is up because you're actually going to be covering yourself from another kick that's facing that way. So it's important to have the right arm up so that way you can protect well from it and make sure you don't get knocked on your head just in case. So this is me doing it again at normal speed. And notice the Aujole, how my leg goes down. I'm always looking towards the opponent and making sure that I'm not distracted from them. Now we do Bimba sequence 3 part B and this is the counter to the previous sequence and this one actually focuses on the Hastera which is a great counter for Martello when used at the right time. So as you see it's basically Hastera, Hastera, an Armada, you get away from the band sound, go down into Negachiva and then you do a whole layer out of it and on this one we're going to be adding the Cabezada part of it which again was missing on the first two sequences and we'll be adding to those as well. So as you'll see it goes Hastera, Hastera, Armada, you do a Negachiva and then you do a Jole. Again just very slow, you're going to be doing from the back a Hastera go back to base, step over, back, hasted again, then you're going to do a armada on the opposite direction of the person's martello, you'll take out their band sound, then you will do a jole and then you'll end up in a cabezada. Notice the cabezada is going to be facing towards your back and the reason why this happens is because remember on the previous sequence, the au ends up on the back of the opponent, so you got to keep that in mind. So again, this is do, me doing it slowly. And again, the cabezada goes towards the back. So now I want to go ahead and show you the detail of that cabezada. So say you go into negativa, the leg that's bent is the one that you're going to take all the way around to the back and then you use that to do the cabezada. And now I'm going to show you again the sequence so you get to see it all put together. As you can see it starts with a hastera again, hastera do a contra armada in, in the opposite direction of that martello that's coming your way and it finishes up with a cabezada. And now let's get into some fun strength and agility drills. So let's work on our Queda Jihims or some people call it QDR for short and it loosely translates into basically leaning on your kidneys. So it starts with a cocorinha and then you lean sideways. Notice how my elbow lands on my ribs or the kidneys so to speak and you'll go side side and then towards the back on each side and I'm showing you an easy way right now which is basically keeping your feet on the ground and this is really good it develops strength on your shoulders on your arms because your hands is used a lot as a skiva to get out of the way from kicks in a uh, cool looking way for like a better term and then here's a more intermediate way where you can just go ahead and lift your feet off the ground and this is also going to strengthen you up to learn how to do, for example, a volta por cima, which is a move I really love. 
maybe we'll get into it on some of the later videos. So here I recommend doing 3 sets of 10 reps each and let's get into the macaco. This is, as you would guess, one of my favorite moves, maybe macaquinho. This is going to be the easy way to do it, which basically you bring the arm to the back from a cocorinha and then use that momentum to jump around, all the way around. Notice I'm keeping my feet together and this is a more intermediate way. I'm also going to show you the more advanced way in which you basically lean back, arch all the way back and then go into a, what I would call sort of almost a back handspring but not really because you're not getting off the ground at any point. And here I recommend doing basically 10 to 20 repetitions alternating though so on each side. So now let's go ahead and get into the final sequence of the lesson and this is actually a set so this is part A and it's basically two Mayalo Franches. you land into a esquiva lateral and you do a martelo this is me showing it to you at regular speed again two Mayalo Franches, esquiva lateral and martelo and you land back into base so very slowly the details are you basically start from back to base you do a Mayalo Franchi, you land on the side and then you do a Mayalo Franchi. You go into the esquiva lateral, you bring the inside leg in, and then you kick with the outside leg into a martelo, landing back into the base. Now if you're really advanced and you get really good at this, you can actually do the two Melody Frenchies without touching the ground, but with those boots, I could forget about it. It's even hard for me sometimes to do it with my bare feet, so now let me show it to you again. Melody Frenchy. You can tap the ground and do a normal Luigi French and you go straight into a Skiva lateral and then you finish it off with a Martello. Now let's get into the second part of the sequence, part B, and this is one that I really like because it uses a move that I kind of enjoy. It's the Escorpion to kind of catch somebody off guard. And the way it starts is basically you do esquiva recuada, esquiva lateral, then you get up, you do a melody frenchy, an armada, you do a hastera to catch that martelo, and then you'll actually do a scorpion. So let's go into the details slowly, esquiva recuada to the back, then you do esquiva lateral towards the inside in a way, then you go ahead and do a melody frenchy, and do an armada landing back in base from there you do a hastera then you lean forward make sure you're looking at your opponent there and go ahead and throw the escorpion kick over I know we've done this before in class but basically you gotta make sure that you arch your back and you strike with your leg as if you were using kinda like scorpion tail so again this is doing it slowly do esquiva lateral Melody French Armada, Hastera, again you lean forward and then kick with the back leg. And here I want to show you the sequence a few more times at a real speed so you can get used to it. It's a little bit challenging but I really recommend you get used to the mechanics of it, especially that Scorpion. It's a move that I'm just starting to use inside the holdouts but I'm really enjoying the surprise element to it. On the other hand though, I must make a note that you're really exposing your face when you do it, so just make sure that you do it with the right timing. And here I want to show you how they both work together. You see the two skivas, the hakuada and the lateral, are to made to get away from the two Meluati Frenchies. Here's my favorite part of the sequence, which is that Hastera, then into a Scorpion. If you don't the correct way, then you can really catch somebody off guard. And that's the end of our lesson. Here we're finishing it off with Lobinho Bocal and doing some Jogo de Dentro. And what I recommend is that you make sure that you take these lessons and you practice them. Give them an hour or so per session. At least do them twice in between. And just go back to the other lessons as well to make sure that you don't forget anything. And I'll be looking forward to your reply. See ya.